hey guys it's shy welcome if you are new and if you're not hey boo so in today's video i created this beautiful look that you see using the dun, 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 full fantasy collection i picked up everything i picked up the eyeshadow palette the blush palette the lipsticks, and of course the brushes. If you guys are new to YouTube, then you might not know about Manny MUA and Laura Lee. Um, these are some OGs in the game, okay? So basically they're best friends. They do have a podcast together called Full Coverage and they are definitely a vibe okay um i have tried some of manny's products not really laura's but i did pick up a highlighter kit and her liquid lipsticks don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos of me reviewing different things let me know but without any further ado let's go ahead and get into this video So I like to start with the eyes. So as you can see, the eyes are nice and primed. I'm going to go ahead and take the Full Fantasy palette. On the back, it says, hey fools, it's your faves, Manny and Laura, and we finally did it. Say hello to the Full Fantasy collection. We felt this collection was the perfect unity of our brands with this neutral maximalism aesthetic. We hope you love it as much as we do, XO, Manny, and Laura Lee. This is what the palette looks like outside of the packaging. This is the color story. I'm definitely a neutral girl, but I love that there are pops of color in here. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I really want to do something neutral. I did pick up the brushes. I love to use this pouch to like travel. I did buy another one of her brush sets. Um, so I'm going to be using her brushes. So in this collection, you do get five brushes. One of them is dual ended. I did purchase her whimsical brush set. You get 11 brushes plus the brush bag to match. This is the brush bag and I like that it has an L for Laura Lee Los Angeles. This palette is a beautiful mix of neutrals and pops of color, but I don't know. For me, I'm more of a neutrals girl, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do a neutral look. I'm going to go into the shade Not My Vibe. I'm not sure whose formula this is for the eyeshadow palette. Um, I think it might be Manny, but I'm not sure. But this is what Not My Vibe looks like on the eye. As you can see, it's a perfect transition shade. I'm just going to try to build her up. And as you can see, everything is blending really nice there's no grabbing everything is pretty much seamless i'm gonna take what's going on start to deepen up the crease and as you can see that shade is definitely showing up i was definitely a little bit scared that these colors weren't going to show up on my skin but as you can see, everything is blending nicely. And it looks like these shadows are definitely buildable, but it's also perfect for beginners. Like anyone can use this palette because it's buildable. You can go with a light hand or a heavy hand. And as you can see, 
everything is blended so it kind of does all the work for you now i'm taking this black called break time to start on the lash line and bring it up a little bit and this is very very smoky so now for the shimmer shade i love a good shimmer and honestly this is the hardest thing to choose this is virgo it's not a shade i normally would choose so that's why i'm picking it i'm not going to use a glitter glue or anything like that because i want to see what it's going to look like on the eyes so let's see Ooh, she's pretty Oh, that's really pretty. It's like a brownish green color. And it has a lot of shimmer. So yes, that is what this eye look is giving. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other eye off camera and do the base. And when I come back, we're going to go ahead and get into the cheeks and lips of this collection. Okay, so I have most of my base on. So now I'm going to be taking this powder brush from the Laura Lee Los Angeles Whimsical Brush Set. And I'm just going to start dusting away all of this bake. Um, if you guys are interested in what I used for my base, I used mostly drugstore products. If you want to see the products in action, um, definitely check out my TikTok because it's going to be dropping very soon. The base is looking really smooth so now we are on to the blush palette it is called the full fantasy blush palette and this is the packaging for the blush palette these are the shades so i did not add any cream blush at all so i'm gonna go ahead and try to put these blushes to the test of course i want to go in with this one but i think i'm gonna start off with i think i'm gonna start off with peachy keen and i'm gonna take this brush this is the l31 and i'm gonna go into peachy keen and i'm just gonna apply her onto the cheek yeah this is pretty light i don't know if it's going to show up and it has some shimmer to it. So yeah, this is not gonna work for my skin. Um, so I'm gonna actually go into that rose shade and that is very pigmented. So I'm just gonna go on top and this shade was definitely meant for my skin tone. So I'm just going to match both sides, going in with Peachy Keen first and then going on top with that pink. It's called Rose Skyline. And there are two highlighters, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch them. These are really soft and these are the shades so i think i'm gonna go in with the more gold one use that on my nose take the 
number four brush from the full fantasy collection and i'm gonna go into that gold shade which is called gold fantasy and i'm just going to highlight the cheeks go a little bit under the brow bone and just to melt all the powders together i'm gonna go in with the morphe continuous prep and set setting mist and i'm gonna spray my sponge tap off the excess and i'm just going to press and melt everything into the skin in the collection it does come with two lipsticks in mora and Lanny. This is what the packaging looks like. Super cute. And you just pop it like that and pull it out. So this is the shade Mora. That is what Mora looks like swatched. And this is what Lanny looks like. And that is Lanny so she's definitely more cool tone um, they do look very similar but as you can tell I'm probably gonna get more wear out of Mora but Lanny is also really pretty I also picked up two liquid lipsticks from Laura Lee Los Angeles I picked up the shades Old Rose and Nakey Nakey this is what her liquid lipsticks look like this is in the shade old rose this is what nakey nakey looks like and these are the shades honestly i'm more of a liquid lipstick type of girl but for this video i think i'm gonna go ahead and use mora so I'm just going to line my lips with a brown lip liner. And this is really creamy. and this is what mora looks like it's really pretty um i don't think that i love it with this eye look though so i'm gonna go ahead and put old rose on my lips and then if you want to see what the other two look like on the lips head on to my tiktok but this is a beautiful beautiful shade i just don't like it with this like green like smoky eye going on and this is what old rose looks like and this is honestly a perfect nude for my complexion um it is slightly sticky but it is still drying down um so yeah let's go ahead and get into my thoughts so as far as the eyeshadow palette i had no problem blending it it's definitely really pretty as far as these blushes i only used two of the blushes i really want to try sandbar which is this shade right here sandbar is going to be more for the girls that are like kind of getting into blush um so i'm excited to try that out um but peachy keen was definitely a little too light i'd have to mix that with something else and i'm not sure what pink blossom is going to look like but um i'm a little scared of her if peachy keen was like that ashy on me but we'll see i'm still gonna play around with it the highlighters 
felt amazing and they look really good on the skin it's not like too glittery it just gives you like that glow like that glow from within without being too chunky and the brushes felt super soft and as you can tell it really beat my face okay so my face is looking flawless and i used drugstore products for the base so as you can see it's all blended really nicely um so yeah the brushes did their thing as far as the lip colors i'm really happy with it i love these colors the bags are humongous like you can fit so much stuff in here if you are my skin complexion and you were interested in this collection i would say to definitely pick up the eyeshadow palette and the brushes um, you could probably pass on the cheek palette. I don't regret this palette at all because I can still use majority of the products in this palette. But if you wanted to try out this highlighter formula and you didn't want the cheek palette, Laura Lee has her lit kit and this is in medium deep and these are the shades so i feel like she took two of the shades in here and put it into the face palette so i would say rose goals and yacht club um are similar to the highlighter shades in the blush palette so if you weren't really interested in the blush palette the highlighter palette the highlighter definitely gives you that glow from within and it's very smooth I don't feel like it really enhances my texture let me know what you guys think about this Laura Lee and Manny MUA collaboration did you guys pick it up are you still like eyeing it or is it a no for you let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video Bye guys.